And it's not a Nuka World. Hopefully there won't be crashes across the Commonwealth. Anyway, Nuka World. What secrets can we discover? Alright, so there's a new action. It's just listed as Raider Cheering. So presumably there's going to be a cheering animation that the Raiders will do at some point. Uh, let's see. Activator. Of course, Voltex launch boxes. It looks like there's a kid's version of it. Promo radio button, power generator, signal flagpole. Nothing truly interesting stands out. Animatronics are in there. There's some lunch boxes. Uh, new ingestibles. Okay. So, new ingestibles then. We've got bloodworm meat, cave cricket meat, flying ant meat, ant meat, rad rat meat. Wow, try saying that three times fast. There's a fear blossom, smooth operator. I'm guessing smooth operator is an alcohol. It's a type of mentats, actually. It's a type of mentats. So yes, yeah, it's a type of mentats, it looks like. Mm, Nuka Grape. Nuka Cola Dark. Nuka Cola Quartz. Nuka Cola Orange. Hey, I already introduced Nuka Cola Orange. Nuka Cola Wild. Nuka Cola Victory. You have a K Cricket Gland. Cotton Candy Bites. There's a Funnel Cake. Ice Nuka Cola Dark. Grape, Orange, Quartz, Victory, and Wild. Nuka side. Nuka punch. Nuka rush. Nuka extreme. Nuka cooler. Nuka void. Nuka love. Nuka berry. I'll actually go through these and tell you what these things do. So, Nuka grape. Hmm. Uh, it looks like it requires you to have the Wasteland Survival Mag to get a bonus effects on, but it looks like it's standard or store hell. Actually, wouldn't the description tell me? Nope, it just says Nuka Great. Um, Caffeinate, if you have Bottle Cap Collector. I don't know, let's see. Alright, so, Restore Health. If you do not have, it restores 10 health if you do not have the Wasteland Survival Guide Book 3. I don't know what that one is off the top of my head. Um, if you do have it, it restores 15 health. If you have... It's going to add a bottle cap, it looks like. When you use it, it caffeinates. Uh, those are its rules for survival mode. Hardcore, HC. It removes radiation. Interesting. It removes 40 points of radiation. And restores 10 action points as well. You could call it dark. This looks like it's, um... Should like it. It, 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 does the, it does the alcohol effect. So we do fortify strength, endurance, and perception. Via the alcohol notes. Uh, Party Boy will allow it to double that. It benefits from the Fortify Luck from Live and Love. So it's treated as an alcohol, basically. You could call it dark. And you can get an alcohol addiction from it. So yeah, it's basically an alcoholic Nuka Cola. Uh, let's see what else. Nuka Cola Quartz. Action points. And radiation damage. Yeah, not too impressive. Nuka Cola Oran. What? Orange. Whew. Uh, pretty standard. You get extra ra action points if you have Wasteland Survival. Caffeinate. Yeah, this is just a healer. Wild! Restore health. Radiation damage. Restore action points. Victory! Let's see. Restore health. And radiation damage. 
And the ice variants, I think, are just more powerful versions of them. Uh, there's Nuka Side, which is... Okay. So it's got the standard healing effect, and the action point regen fortifies carry weight. And then we have this one. Nuka Kill Tracker. So, apparently when you're drinking Nuka Side, you, it tracks the amount of people you kill while under the influence. Nuka Punch. Um, fortify action points. Nothing. No, this doesn't. This has a Nuka Kill Tracker as well. Nuka Rush. It has the kill tracker as well. Nuka Extreme! This has the kill tracker as well. Looks like pretty standard. Nuka Cooler. Kill tracker as well. Nuka Void. Kill tracker. Carry weight. Nuka Love. Um, about the same as the other ones. Nuka Berry. It's about the same as that. Nuka Power. Again, I'm not seeing anything particularly notable in Nuka Power. Nuka Cola. <laughs> um, nothing particularly notable in here. Nuka Twin. About the same. Nuka Fancy! Nuka Buzz. Nuka Ray. Nuka Fruity. Nuka Bomb Drop. So this looks like the other one with the alcohol, which does fortify strength and endurance, fortify luck, affected by live and love. We have Calmex Silk, Nuka Free, Nuka Hardy, Nuka, Nuka Lixor, Lixir, Nuka Sunrise. Ooh, look at this. We've got mystery foods. Now, for those of you who don't know what mystery foods are, at least in Fallout 3, when you had mystery meat, it was basically human meat. And there was the mystery meat pie. So, if I were to make a suggestion, I would say, you know, disease, risk, type, that mystery jerky is, yep, cannibal. It's jerky made from human flesh. And bacon made from human flesh, so... Okay. They have gator claw meat, gator claw steak, grilled nuka lurker. Nuka -nuka, grilled nuka lurk. Nuka lurk meat. Queen nuka lurk meat. That's a terrifying thought. A queen nuka lurker. Alright. Grilled queen nuka lurker. There's gazelle meat. Hmm. And we have some vault experiments in here as well. Brainwave interference. Hypnotic pheromones. Subliminal suggestions. Theta radiation. We have rad rack steak. Roasted ant. Gazelle steak. We have a bunch of ice versions. Ghoulrilla meat. So, going by that name, I would guess that that means that we have ghoul gorillas in Nuka World. Alrighty then. Um, so, we've got new ammunition, paddle balls, weaponized Nuka Cola Quantum, a <laughs> Nuka Nuke. Okay. <laughs> Weaponized Nuka-Cola ammo. 
Acid Concentrate, Coca-Cola Cherry, Quantum. I guess we got some standard 7.62 rounds. We got a squirt of water. A squirt of water. Uh, let's see. Armor add-ons aren't, aren't going to really tell us too terribly much, but let's see what is in under armor. There's a spacesuit costume. Overboss power armor. We have just a T-55 set, but I'm going to guess it has a unique paint. Yep, Nuka-Cola. There's a Nuka-Cola T-55 set. Um, crappy glasses. There's the Myler Hunter's Glow and the Deep King's Glow. We have some faction clothes. We've got some regular clothes here. Torn shirt and ragged pants. Wrap and ripped jeans. Torn shirt. We have Disciples clothing. Strapped chest piece. Howl. We've got pack clothing. We have got furry undergarments. Okay. We have got pack stuff, operator stuff, herbologist outfit, western outfit, western outfit, and chaps, gauges armor. So that's named armor. I'm guessing that's for a companion named Gage. Magician's tuxedo, Oswald's top hat. I'm gonna guess that. Yep, you can tell right from here, Oswald. So, the magician that we saw in the teasers, his name is Oswald, and you can see he's got a unique tuxedo and top hat. Anything notable about it? Well, the tuxedo is just Fortify Charisma and Endurance, and you can take Ballistic Weave, and it looks like it comes with Assassin's Gear. Um... Oswald's top hat fortifies perception and charisma. Um, let's see what else. Comes with the legendary effect of sprinter. Nothing else notable there. Gage has got an eye patch. So we've got an eye patch, which is just eyes, okay. Interestingly, it gives one energy resistance. For operator and disciple stuff, we have an X1 gear. Quantum! Alright, so there's a quantum, Nuka Cola quantum, that's uh, X1 armor. Uh, some cowboy themed stuff. Some undergarments. More furry stuff. Seems to be related to the pack, though, interestingly enough. Books. Alright. Hidden Cappy Clue. Henry's Instructions. I won't read these, because I don't want to spoil too much for you guys. But this at least gives you some of the names and the titles. We have Furry Grena Fury Grenade. Persuasion Grenade. Predator Grenade. Smooth Operator Recipe. Uh... Gav, Buzz's Apology, Safe Combinations, Trader's Note, um, They Hit Boston, probably something about the war. What else? Containers? Nothing terribly interesting in there. Any new flora? And the Florida. Fever Blossoms. Any new Globals? Okay. Hair colors. Um. Let's see if there's any new object modification. Well, there's new bot stuff. There's some improvements for the Disciple and Pack Armor, as you can see here. Pretty standard stuff. I 
Alright, so the weapon called the Thirst Zapper, some type of squirt gun, looks like you can upgrade it, create it to have different, to use different ammo types, whether it be water or Nuka-Cola. Uh, that, I believe, for the pipe rifle. So it looks like there's a new additions to the pipe rifle. Sledgehammer? Yeah, Sledgehammer. Looks like it's getting some upgrades as well. Baseball bats getting some upgrades. Um, the revolver is getting some upgrades. Okay. The fat man's getting an upgrade. The Nuka Nuke launcher. Because we needed more variants of the fat man. Perks. Wow, there are a few changes to perks, aren't there? In addition to some new ones. These are these new ones here are probably like uh magazine. That's perk magazine. Look at that. All right, let me sort the perks by name. Hmm. No, let's sort, sort them by this name. That'll give us a better idea of how perks have been changed. All right, so Attack Dog has got a new fourth rank. Alright, so let's see what we got here. The fourth rank of Attack Dog. When adventuring with your dog, you take 10% less damage at Attack Dog rank 4. Alright, so to get things in perspective, uh, first rank, uh, dog meat can hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance to hit them in vats. At rank two, dog meat has a chance of crippling the limbies biting. At rank three, uh, he'll cause bleeding damage. At rank four, the new rank, dog meat, while adventuring with dog meat, you take 10% less damage. So it's kind of sort of like Lone Wanderer in that regard. Awareness gets a new rank. Okay, that's... I wasn't expecting Awareness to get a new rank. Alright, hetero. Oh, well, you know, this will be archived and uploaded to my boob tube, so you can enjoy it there. Alright. So, Awareness rank 2. Knowing their weakness lets you attack more efficiently. 5% increase hit chance and damage dealt to that targets. Uh, Ghoulish gets a new rank. Rad damage are now begin to slowly heal, restoring health in the process. So of course Ghoulish is at rank 1. Radiation now regenerates your lost health. Uh, radiation regenerates even more lost health. Even more. So, at the fourth rank of Ghoulish, radiation itself will start to heal, and health will heal. Um, Mysterious Stranger has gotten a change. The Mysterious Stranger appears more often than vast. When he kills an opponent, there's a chance your critical meter will be filled. Quick Hands gets a new rank. You gain 10 additional action points. Eh. It's 
Study aim. Get the new grenade. Uh, new rank. Too terribly notable in here. That's a lot of exclusions. Hip fire damage is improved when firing any gun. But, let's see. You can't be using iron sights. It, you can't be using an, exp uh, an explosive weapon. You can't be using a grenade. You can't be using a shotgun. You can't be using a one-handed melee weapon. You can't be using a two-handed melee weapon. You can't be using unarmed. And you can't be using hand-to-hand. -hand. All of those are excluded from study aim. Vans get a new rank. What does Vans 2 do? Huh, that's kind of weird. So, Vans rank 2 gives you 2 points to perception. That's weird. I'm going to admit that that's weird. So, basically, this skill that requires an intelligence of 1, by investing in the second rank of Vans, you gain 2 perception. Two perception. Now, granted, you could just invest the two skill points you put into vans to add directly to perception, but still. That kind of surprised me. And Wasteland Whisperer gets changed? But just the first rank? I don't see why they're different. at all. Weird. Anything else? Well, we could look at the quest, but that might spoil too much. Um, weapons! We looked at armor, let's look at weapons. Okay, so we've got a 44 that seems to be linked to the Disciples. An Acid Soaker. An alien blaster. Fake alien blaster, it says. There we have the animatronic alien blaster. Do they use the alien blaster rounds? These are basically recreations of the alien weapon. Yeah, it looks like it has all the same alien data in here. It's just a fake one. Um, but it uses fusion cells. So this is basically the equivalent of the Alien Blaster with the Fusion Cell Upgrade. And it looks like it does about the same damage. Let's take a look at that. Let's compare, shall we? So I need to open up Failout 4. And let's see. Alien Blaster. Compare selected. Okay. So they're looking about the same. The only real difference is this keyword talking about the uh, type it is. Um, it looks like it doesn't. Well, it looks like it takes all of the same slots there. Doesn't come with anything by default. Um, yeah. It uses the fusion cells versus the alien blaster cells. Same energy. Does the exact same energy, but uses fusion cells instead.
There's a pack-themed baseball bat, a pack-themed board. There's the cherry, there's the zapper. The commie whacker! We saw that in the Bethesda stream. Uh, Discipline's Blade, I bought Space Laser. Nani? A Merv Fragmentation Grenade. Okay. I was not expecting that. There is a Merv Frag Grenade. There's the Fury Grenade. Causes frenzy. Homemade rifle. The lucky rabbit's foot? So there's some, some type of unique weapon called the lucky rabbit's foot. Presumably it boosts your luck. It doesn't look like it has any mod slots aside from the fact that it's legendary, so you can't change it. So it's probably a wacky weapon. Uh, da, da, da. Nuka Cherry Grenade, Nuka Quantum Grenade, Paddle Ball, nothing else really notable, well, there's a Western Revolver, but that seems to be about, be about the it when it comes to... Well, there's a smart fragmentation grenade. Presumably, that's like a tracking grenade. Um, nothing really notable in weather. Like. When I saw there was a weather entry, I thought, are we going to have, like, Nuka Cola Quantum raining from the skies? But apparently not. Near as I can tell, it's just standard rain just for the Nuka World world space. Um, yeah. Nothing special in weather. Uh, of course, world space, commonwealth. Um, I mean, I suppose the only other one worth looking at would be the races section, which would specify any new races of critters. Yeah, so we've got ants, bloodworms, ramen. I'm guessing a variant on the Brahmin? Bubble turrets. Cave crickets. There's some... Ugh. That is horrifying thought. A quantum death claw. A Nuka-Cola quant Nuka quantum infused death claw. And there's a gator claw. Gorillas are back. Animatronic humans. Power armor. Obviously. For the new power armor stuff. Rad ruts. Rad rats. Sing wings are back. And then we have swarms. Probably those ant swarms we saw in the Bethesda uh, stream. Uh, anything else worth looking at? I think that would cover everything. Alright, so. I am going to go and eat and enjoy the rest of my day. But I will get this up on YouTube post-haste. So, for those of you who are fascinated by what's in Nuka World, I hope you found this interesting. And I'll see you all in the future.